News Defense. The Thai T-129 ATAK attack helicopter, originally selected by the PAF and DND until supply issues and CAATSA sanctions that may arise due to Turkey's feud with NATO and the US forced DND and PAF to cancel negotiations. The Philippines will receive Turkey's first T-129 tactical reconnaissance and attack helicopter ATAK, helicopter next month, officials from the Southeast Asian country said Wednesday. Turkey is known to have ordered six helicopters designed and developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries Thai, which will be delivered in stages from December, said Philippine Air Force Chief Lieutenant General Alan Trio Paredes The Philippines, which bought six helicopters worth about US$280 million, United States dollars, will be the first country overseas to use the attack and reconnaissance helicopters. The sales process is gaining momentum after the United States approved an export license to Turkey for the sale of helicopters powered by American engines to the Philippines in May. Much earlier, Philippine Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana announced the country would initially purchase six T-129 helicopters. Subsequently, a Memorandum of Understanding MO, was signed between Ankara and Manila for the sale of the helicopters, which was delayed due to export licensing barriers. A joint venture by American company Honeywell and British company Rolls-Royce produces the engines that power the T-129 helicopters, namely the LHTEC T-804A turboshaft engines, which are installed in pairs on each helicopter. To note, all foreign companies are required to obtain export licenses for the commercial sale of U.S. military-grade components. To date, Thai has delivered a total of 61 T-129 ATAK helicopters to the Turkish Army Command, General Gendarmerie Command and General Directorate of Security. With 56 T-129s now delivered to the Turkish Land Forces, five of them to the latest T-129B Phase 2 standard, the News of Turkey newspaper reports that six more are to be received this year, and that 91 will be in service by the end of 2023. This is additional to 10 of 24 aircraft ordered for the Gendarmerie General Command, all but six of them Phase 2, and three for the General Directorate of Security, all Phase 2. It represents an increase of 35 over the previously announced total, suggesting that an option for 35 aircraft may now have been exercised. The first export aircraft, part of a six-aircraft order by the Philippines, were delivered in March 2022, while Iraq's defense minister has announced that his country will be acquiring 12 T-129s. An order for six aircraft for Nigeria was announced by Thai CEO, Temel Kotal, at this year's Farnborough International Airshow, while Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Brazil have also all been listed as potential customers. The license-built and much-improved derivative of the Augusta Westland, now Leonardo Helicopters, a 129 Mangusta offers a compelling blend of excellent performance and agility, a compact footprint, and low cost. With a constraint